Hey class, sorry for not being able to make it to class, but hopefully through this video that I'm providing, I can allow you guys to see or understand my experience with my community group. As you guys know, I worked with Nancy, Macy, and Fu at the Lao family of Merced for our community group. Each of us had different um, jobs when we were working at the Lao family of Merced, and my task at the Lao family of Merced was to focus on an intervention that is going to try to shorten this gap between the older generation Hmong community people and the younger generation Hmong individuals and that is the focus of the intervention that we were working on to try to shorten this gap and the way we were able to do that is by looking at different interventions or meetings that are occurring at the Lao family and one of these meetings or projects that are occurring at the Lao family that we've seen as an intervention was the Family Strengths Program. I'll discuss a slight bit about the Family Strengths Program and give you the pros and cons about it. Excuse me. The Family Strengths Program was run by the clan leaders of the Hmong Lao family and these clan leaders are able to be informed at the Lao family of issues that are very well affecting Hmong community members and this is a definitely a good way to outreach to um, the younger generation because whatever the clan leaders are going to say um, be informed about at the meeting they're able to pass it on to their families and other members of the community that are, are going to hear this and this is a way for you know not just the younger generation Hmong to be reached out to but also the older generation Hmong and this this is a pro about the family strengths program because it allows um, a lot of informative stuff to be brought to all members of the Hmong community and this can work in shortening the gap between the older generation Hmong and the younger generation Hmong because these are issues that are both affecting you know older and generation and younger generation Hmong members and the way that the clan leaders are able to provide important information that is going to affect either the older or the young that's I believe a good way that this is going to be seen as an intervention to help lessen that gap of the older versus younger generation Hmong. Another thing about the Family Strengths Program is that we were trying to somehow figure out ways that, you know, this is going to be beneficial to both the older generations and the younger generations. And to integrate them together to somehow, you know, get them to be able to communicate more and understand each other in a deeper sense, not just in an outer layer sense, but in a deeper sense where th older generation or maybe accepting the younger generation's new cultural um, attributes that they have gotten living here in the U.S. compared to the differences that the older generation Hmongs had in their culture. And, you know, this is an interesting issue here because one of the cons of the program that I of the family strengths program that I perceived was how maybe many times the older generation Hmong when they're communicating with the younger generation Hmong at these types of meetings where they're informing informing um, them of information many times the older generation Hmong may not consider the maybe the opinions of what the younger generation Hmong are saying is valid in the sense that it's not valid because I mean they didn't experience this in their in their lifetime so it's very hard for them to empathize and try to put themselves in the younger um, individuals um, shoes or perspective and I seen this as a possible issue that could as one of the cons in a sense that it's it's hard to reach out to the older generations because of their not so much stubbornness but of their cultural customs that prevent them from allowing them to see other generation things more clearly and I see that as a possible maybe con because it's hard to change older generations perspectives on things my experience of the actual meetings and 
you know, congregations that we had with the Lao Family of Merced and the Family Strengths Program is that it's a good program and it's able to provide good things. And throughout my experience, I think that it it's, it has a lot of room to grow in the sense that it hasn't really been implemented so much. My experience working with people and the clan leaders and other individuals who are going to be part of the program have all been positive, have been received really well, considering that I'm not Hmong. And considering that I'm not Hmong, I've been received in open arms and with no negative vibes. And that's pretty cool to me because it's, it's really... Um, it allows me to have a sense of approval by the Hmong community, and that was um, gratifying for what it was able to do for me. A barrier that I perceive of the um, this program that we're in is that many times, you know, um, with the misunderstandings that it can occur. Um, between the older generations and the younger generations, it it takes time to be able to convey what we want to convey to, you know, uh, in our intervention. We want to be able to, you know, close that gap, and that may take time. And that's I see that as one of the barriers here, in the sense that it's it could be a, a longer time that we believe that this gap is going to be closed. So like as a hypothesis to is I kind of think that it may take maybe like 15 to maybe 20 years as a way for the Hmong community to be having this generation gaps to be closed and in a sense that I think it could take up to maybe 15 20 years so for example generations that like Foo's, Macy's and Nancy's generation that they're gonna be able to understand their children's perspectives more on what they were experiencing with their culture, with their Hmong culture here with an American culture being integrated in two. And I hypothesize that it'll take, you know, longer time zone that that we're trying to work on for this intervention of the Family Strengths Program to work in closing the gap because of the possible differences that the generations are sharing right now. I hope that, you know, this will in a sense be a positive outlook for you know, individuals like Macy, Hmong, and Fu, who, you know, most likely will have children with Hmong backgrounds, and I hope that in the future, with this hypothesis, it's going to, you know, hopefully come true, because they are going to be individuals, or parents, I should say, that are going to be more open to allowing their children to juggle both cultures a little bit easier, versus having those pressures and those stigmas that come with both cultures, when they're integrated and I think in the long run this will be able to be accomplished through time and through unfortunately you know having the older generations die out and having these new generations who are understandive more of the both cultures to be you know in place of the older generations which will you know in essence provide more of a greater understanding for what they're experiencing and I think that is a way for that gap to be closed and maybe the one of the answers that will make the Family Strengths Program work when or where they're able to narrow this gap between the two generations. I'm sorry if I'm sounding ranting here, but it's just kind of hard to convey this to a monitor versus a, an audience. Um, it was definitely a nice experience, I should say. I'll sum this up and... An interesting one to that, a culturally enriching experience for me because I'm learning so much about another culture that's obviously not like mine. Um, I'll sum it up with that, I guess, and um, once again, I hope this was somehow helpful to or useful to you guys instead of me not being there. So, appreciate it and take care.